to the king like Ziba because Mephibosheth couldn't walk. So I see Mephibosheth dragging himself to the king. He's dragging himself to the king. And David looks at him and he says, are you Ziba? And he said, Master, I am he. He says, Ziba, I'm about to extend the kindness of God to you. I'm about to change your life. Life has never been changed before. But look at what Mephibosheth says. He says, King, who am I? I'm nothing more than a dead dog. I'm not good for anything. Lady Walton, I could have even dealt with him calling himself a dog because even a dog has a function, my God. A dog is referred to as man's best friend. A dog can recover lost items. But what good is a dead dog? A dead dog has no function. So I see Mephibosheth laying before the king, feeling as though his life has no function. Why did you feel that way? I have two sneaky suspicions. I'll shut it down. I believe that the reason why Mephibosheth referred to himself as a dead dog is because uh, that was the label that people gave him. Because he always lived his life lame, uh, now that became the label and he internalized the label that was given to him. And we got a lot of young people, oh my God, who have internalized the wrong label. My God, you don't got to show all of your body for somebody to love you, to respect you, and to give you attention. The truth of the matter is, young lady, they girls want attention, but women want respect. And I'm preaching that. Don't buy into that label. Young man, pick your pants up. You are, my God, a stereotype to the wrong label. So maybe Mephibosheth referred to himself as a dead dog because that's the label that was given to him. Yeah. But then, do you want to have another hypothesis? I believe that the reason why 